ready to hear information about your horoscope? Well, Tiffany Retro Zombie is going to be presenting horoscope readings for the month of January and the new year. But first off, Tiffany, how was your holidays? Happy New Year! Thank you, JC Corner, for asking. My Christmas was great. I got exactly what I wanted for Christmas. And I don't, don't think it was really a much of a Grinchmas this year. It was actually a Christmas. <laughs> so, yes, I am really excited and really happy for this brand new New Year's. Of course, for 2021, this is going to be an amazing, great year. It's going to be a breakthrough for medical history. It's going to be a breakthrough for agriculture. It's going to be a breakthrough for decisions as well. Also, the lucky number for 2021 would be, of course, number 9. Number 3, number 9, and number 22 can also work as well, but you want to stay very close to that number 9. For Mercury Retrograde, it's going to start off on January 30th, and it's going to end February 21st. For that entire Mercury Retrograde, it's coming in in Aquarius and ending out in Pisces. So with those water signs it's basically going to make you really question things that are very sentimental to you and it's also going to question your emotions and you're also going to get just a little bit confused during that time so make sure that you open up your new year speaking up and speaking out this way when the planet of communications mercury goes into retrograde for those three weeks starting january 30th you'll go ahead and take a little bit of a vocal break. Well, some of you, not exactly all of you. And also, Happy New Year for the year of the ox in Chinese New Year. That is going to bring forward agriculture, hard work, positivity, honesty, and leadership. And our leaders will take more leadership, and that means you need to take more leadership over your life as well. For those of you born in 1925, 1937, 1949, 1961, 1973, 1985, 1997, 2009, and of course, 2021 for those newborns out there, you are all year of the ox. So make sure that you take good leaderships over yourself. And your tarot card is going to be number five, the Hierophant, for leaderships, of course. Also for the 2021 tarot card that is going to be the world card. And that world card is definitely representing completions and also accomplishments. And you'd also need closures. It's also going to... 2021 is going to make you fight delays and fight obstacles as well. And to push the past into the past and to walk forward into the future. Also, for those of you that worship Lilith, you got to remember that she had two signs of eternity in her hands with the Ankh. And with the world card, she also has two wands as well. So if you worship Lilith, uh, make sure that you make sure that this is going to be a good year for her altar as well. Because I know many of us folks in the goth scene do believe in in Lilith as well so go ahead and make sure that your altars are really dedicated towards her also for 2021 it is yes the year of agriculture so you want to purchase new plants maybe go out hiking and plant some plants as well because mother earth is suffocating we ourselves are suffocating because of coronavirus so you want to make sure to put in a lot of plants in your room a lot of plants around the earth and go hiking and with a little shovel and a little tree and go and plant something. Make sure that you put your, imp your foot imprint into the world very, very well this entire 2021. So it's time to get dirty, guys. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start off reading off the 2021's Zodiac. It is going to include how the year is going to be for you. It is also going to be how January is going to be for you as well. So you kind of got a two-in-one kind of deal with this type of reading that I'm going to do here. It's a little bit different. It might be a little complicated. You can re-watch the segment if necessary and make sure that you share with your friends and folks and you subscribe to Terminal TV as well. So you can go ahead and get February's 
horoscopes. We're going to go ahead and start off with Aries. For Aries, Mars is basically allowing a lot of energy to come into your house, to come into your orbit, to come into your soul and your person. And also Chiron is actually retrograde in Aries on July 15th, 2021. So with Chiron going to go into retrograde, you basically want to have a very healthy year for yourself and worry about others health as well. Also, this is the year to go ahead and to get advice. Make sure that you visit the dentist and that you drink plenty of water because your body is going to be craving a lot of water. The chakra that you want to pay attention to is your third eye chakra. And also your keyword for 2021 Aries is positivity. You have to stay very, very positive and focused this year. For Taurus, Mars is basically going to come into your sign on the 6th of January. And this allows you to go ahead and say, okay, I need to go ahead and start my year off with energy. What am I going to focus on to open up my energy at this time? And also, Uranus is in retrograde at the current moment. So that's also going to make you question everything and absolutely everyone around you. It's definitely time to go ahead and take out time for everything in your life. Don't do things half fast or very quick or wake up with just five minutes to get things done. You have to have time for everything. If you lose sleep this month, Taurus, that's okay. You have to have time for everyone and for everything. Also, Venus is going to allow you to listen to others. Make sure that your body consumes a lot of salt and that maybe you go ahead and practice like some kind of karaoke. Uh, so to, in order to open up a little bit more of that throat chakra, you gotta be singing a little bit more. And the chakra you're gonna pay attention to is of course your throat chakra, your green chakra. And this is the year of growth for you. Your keyword is growth this 2021. For Gemini, Mercury is in Capricorn at the current moment and will be in Aquarius on January 8th. That definitely tells you that you need to go ahead and to get massages for yourself, mainly around your shoulders and your neck area. Make sure that you get some kind of workout going and that you worry about your money savings. Definitely file your taxes as soon as possible. Make plans for your bills and also it's time to end obstacles once and for all. And your key word for 2021 is happy. You gotta be super happy this year. Make sure that you're happy because 2020, you weren't that happy. 2021, you need to stay more happy. For Cancer, the moon is really gonna take effect on you. So make sure that your January is not too emotional. For the moon is going to be in your sign the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. So make sure that you take care of your stomach and you also drink some kind of colon cleansers as well to clean out your entire system. The chakra that you're going to be paying attention to is of course the orange chakra, the sacral chakra. The full moon is definitely going to be in Cancer and that's going to be on the 30th of December. So you're going to be starting off the New Year's really good with full moon energy. So make sure that you voice your opinion and you speak up and friendships or partnerships that just didn't balance in 2020, 2021, you need to end it. Don't drag all of that madness into 2021. For Leo, there's only approximately nine hours or less of the sunlight per day. So therefore, you're not gonna be gaining that much energy. You're also going to tell yourself, do I need to stop being stubborn? How come I can't be flexible in different things? So make sure that you get yourself a calendar and that you put everything in your calendar that you need to. This way you can have flexible time for yourself. And you need to stop beating up yourself. Stop being worried 
Also, it's very important that you start your cardio this month if you can. If you can, go ahead and run. Go ahead and jog. Go ahead and do fast walking as well. And for the uh, Leos, yes, you definitely need to pay attention to re-energizing your aura and also re-energizing every single chakra. That's your major seven chakras and your lower chakras in your arms and your legs. A lot of people don't know about that. Go ahead and Google search after this YouTube, se YouTube segment <laughs> what all of the chakras are, the lower chakras in the arms and the legs. There may be a couple segments on YouTube that you can go ahead and look into, but go ahead and look into seeing exactly where those are and what their names are and re-energize those. Because Leos, you're gonna be feeling like you don't have any energy whatsoever until summertime. For Virgo, Mercury is in Capricorn at the current moment. And also, it's going to be in Aquarius on January 8th. Basically, it's going to make you work super, super hard from January to June. And go ahead, work as very, as very hard as you can. There's going to be a lot of clear paths. Your mind is going to feel clear. Your aspirations are going to come in. And it's okay to redo certain plans or go to plan B or C as well. Your chakras that you're going to pay attention to are your yellow and your solar plexus. And what you'll definitely need to keep on yourself is a crystal called citrine or citrino. For Libra, Maki Maki and Himea, the dwarf planets, still bring balance into your life from 2020 going into 2021. Venus is also letting you know the entire month that you go out, you got to go ahead and Finish all of your projects. Finish what you've started in 2020 and go ahead and finish that up in 2021 as well. And yes, you definitely need a lot of water. This is also the year keyword is success for yourself. And you definitely want to sweat out a lot of toxins for yourself. And Libras, you definitely got to pay attention to that orange chakra, your sacral chakra as well. For Scorpio, Pluto is in Capricorn and it's going to be letting you know that it's okay to take transitions and transformations for 2021. In fact, your entire year is going to be based on progress. So go ahead and write down your New Year's resolutions and go ahead and list those down. Most important to least important. Your key word for 2021, Scorpios, is courage. And you also need to pay attention to your root chakra, of course, which is the red chakra as well. And it's okay to go ahead and to reinvent yourself, cleanse out your entire system, and definitely be outspoken. For Sagittarius, Venus is going to be in Sagittarius, and then it's going to go directly into Capricorn, which is your sister, your Saturn sister. And that will happen on the 8th of January. The new moon is going to be on the uh, 14th as well. So that's going to be really, really cool. Uh, you're going to be basically starting your year off saying, I need new beginnings for myself. I need new beginnings in life. And by the 14th, by mid-January, you're going to tell yourself, this is exactly what I need. This is, this is exactly what I want for my new year. You won't know right away in the beginning of the year, but you will know, I mean, the beginning of the month of the year, but in the middle of January, you're definitely going to go ahead and figure out exactly what you need new for the year. Your key word for 2021, Sagittarius, is surprises. Surprise yourself and surprise others as well. Definitely good fortune is coming in and you need to make plans for your bills. Go ahead and move in or out of relationships as well, and prosperity is yours this year. For Sagittarius, you have to pay attention to your root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus. So that will be your red, yellow, and orange that you're going to have to pay attention to for January and basically for 2021. For Capricorn. Mercury is going to be in Capricorn and then it's going to go directly into Aquarius on January 8th. So January 8th is a really big day for a lot of planetary 
<laughs> changes. So make sure January 8th, you're kind of taking it easy that day, everyone. So for, so for Capricorn, definitely you got to pay attention to your vitamins and your calcium. It's going to be really, really important for you this year. Also, there's going to be a change of success. Make sure that you visit your chiropractor. A lot of good luck and good fortune is coming in. Go ahead and make those successful changes. Pay attention to your alarms and your calendars. And your key word for 2021 Capricorns is adjustments. For Aquarius, Jupiter is going to be in Aquarius. So is Saturn as well. And you just got done having that big conjunction on December 21st. So therefore, a lot of good things are coming into 2021 for you. Good positive success, good positive leaderships, good positive roles are definitely coming coming in. For Aquarius, this is definitely your year for 2021. New money is going to come in. It's going to be your most successful. Make sure that you're paying attention to your feet as well. Put your feet up on pillows and make sure that you're elevating your feet and your calves. Also, go ahead and go on hiking trips as well. That will definitely help you. And also, this is going to be the year of learning for you. Your keyword is learning. You're going to basically want to learn everything and anything around you. And you're going to be forced to learn things as well. So maybe lessons learned for 2021 for the Aquarius. Your chakras that you're going to have to pay attention to are your black and brown, which is basically your feet. For Pisces, I always say the best is for last. For Pisces, Jupiter is really going to bless you this entire 2021. This is definitely going to be one of those blessings from Jupiter that says you've dealt with enough madness. You've dealt with enough stuff in 2020 and in your previous years that 2021 is finally going to be the year that the Pisces gets back that they finally receive and they're going to receive all that energy from the universe jupiter is going to give them good fortune good ideas and good money ideas as well neptune is going to be in pisces and it's going to go in retrograde on june 25th so make sure that you have your first six months of the year just thinking about pure progress just doing so many things to make sure your life is good and, and successful and therefore july to december of 2021 you want to do more of your relaxation your vacations and things of that nature maybe making new friends because i know pisces really don't have any new friends <laughs> also for pisces you want to pay attention to your earth star chakra which is right under your feet and your third eye so you want to keep black crystals and purple crystals very close to you that this uh, entire month of January. The crystals that I would suggest for the Pisces, of course, would be amethyst or chevron amethyst. You can also use Apache tears or some form of onyx as well. Any kind of purple or black crystals will definitely help you out for 2021. And also, you're going to be asking everyone to be honest and you're going to be questioning everybody's honesty. So make sure that you only have people in your life that are going to be super 100 with you, super honest with you. You don't need people just basically running you around. You don't need any of that for 2021. Also, you're going to be starting off in the 11th house. And the 11th house is basically of friendships and of gains. So you want to question in January, are these friends good for me? Yes, I'll keep those. No, I'm going to start to push them away little by little by little by little. Because, of course, the Pisces doesn't like to push people completely out of their life. They don't like to look like bad people. So you just want to push them away little by little by little by little. Maybe take hours to reply back to a text message. Anyways, that looks like that's absolutely it for 2021. And I hope you guys are going to have a great new year. It may have a little bit of war finishing maybe war beginning maybe war finishing but there is going to be some kind of fights along the earth there's going to be a lot of brand new healing patterns there's going to be a lot of brand new medicine as well but the main thing that we need to do is love each other 
and we can't lose our minds. Once we feel that we're losing our mind, we have to literally go outside and go for a walk in your cute little mask. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great new year, and don't forget to press that subscribe button for Terminal TV. See you in February.